one thing you could have added, especially since it felt like a lot of heat, is to use the moo point in front for the digestive organ and send the chi through towards the shoe in the back so that the bladder channel, the tai yang, can get rid of the excessive heat, draining it. So all of them, stomach, REN12 is the stomach, stomach 25 is for the large intestine, and REN4 for the small intestine. And so you can go from feeding in new fresh chi into the moo point pushing through the organ and out the shoe so that the taiyang can gather and drain. That's one, uh, I would say, kind of classical treatment methodology when you want to work with the organs where you feed in the fresh chi into the mu and push the excess out the shoe and remove it and then drain also. You can either remove it directly or use also the channel to kind of finish up whatever surplus is there that's why the shoe are all on the tai yang the every disease is expelled through a yang phase so we need to bring it towards the yang so it can reach the surface so it can get out of the body and through the tai yang is one of the the way where all the organs are naturally connected so that they can do that yeah. or what you can do when you feel from the front <laughs> is to get that ball of chi feed it through the organ and push so that it pushes everything towards the back. We have that pressure that naturally can exit or can go through the tai yang uh, or both combination and just get everything out and just. Whew. So when you do the massage, as you're you're going through, even if you're not touching, you can focus a little bit more lao gong over ren four over stomach 25, over REN 12, stomach 25, REN 4. And as you're moving through, you kind of feel that connection. And you could even take a little break. Okay, I'm at REN 4. Can I feel it all the way to bladder 27? Yeah, it's there. It goes out. So stomach 25, bladder 25. There it's going out. REN 12, bladder 20. Up. Uh, 2021 20, boat we're in the same area up and then down and just kind of feel that connection outward and releasing you know there's the the famous saying that the yi leads the chi where the mind goes the chi kind of follows so if my awareness is only on the organ and I'm bringing it in and I'm kind of moving it around. I'm moving the chi through the organ, but I haven't gave it an exit yet. Never try to catch a tiger by the tail before you open the door and the windows. So give it an exit door. Say, oh, by the way, you go out like that. Or if you already feel it, then oft more often than not, the body will give us a direction where, to, where, where it wants to exit things on its own. It's like, oh, yeah, you, you can already feel, oh, I feel maybe that, you know, my lower back is a bit more sensitive. Oh, okay, it's going out that way. Or I can feel, you know, a little pain going down my legs. Or often the body gives us the direction that it's the easiest for it at this point to follow. So this is a, a one good way to do it with more distal point. Um Locally, what you can do when you want. So there's always the possibility to just kind of grab locally and take it out. Um, but I like to, you know, take it out through one of the point because it makes it a little bit easier. So if it's something around the jaw, maybe I'll I'll pull it towards stomach six. Take it out. If it's a bit more sinus, I'll, I'll bring it towards large intestine. What is it? 19, 20, 20. Yeah, so pull it from the sinus around 20 and release it there, which will also at the same time helps the movement towards the nostril so you can blow it out. This goes more into uh, medical Qigong treatment and depends on the ability of your hand to really grab the Qi and move it. Um, sometimes, because if it's really far, trying to pull something that's there all the way through the body and release it is a little off. So you can just grab it directly from the area and take it out. That's why when I was saying about you know the, the, the abdomen, you can just push all the way through and take it out straight through the shoe. You don't necessarily have to go all the way down, 
But usually when it's midway like that, there'll be a bit of a combination of both. The channel will drain some of it, and then locally you can remove it from the different points. Cold, when there's cold, you need to warm it to get rid of it. When there's wind, you need to fix it at one point so you can squeeze it and exit. When it's damp, you need to make it move. You need to get it fluid again because it's stagnate. So it requires a bit more movement. In order to get it, we'll get people to sweat if they're sweating. That's the idea of, of moving the fluid up towards the surface. Uh, in the case of the gut, moving, starting to feel everything going around, activating peristaltism action um, through the massage, through deep abdominal breath so that the diaphragm really gets the pressure and release that the organ needs uh, to really increase that also. Um, all the movement that have a rotation and or side bending of the waist that gives us that gentle stretch compression that moves and squeeze and release. So we're activating the physical pump around the organs to kind of just squeeze, release them to get everything to move, plus the breathing that does that as well. And that helps to bring some of the fluids back up to the lungs, which we'll be able then to um, balance since this is one of the roles of the lungs as well. Cold will, will block everything, which will then create damp so that goes together um hands on the lower dantian either around <coughs> ren four filling up the warmth if there's cold so that you feel that warming up all the way through which again is the same idea of feeding in pushing towards the shoe so you want the warm to go all the way towards migmen until migmen activate and then the whole lower abdomen is warm and, and full and feeling good.